Hi everyone, welcome to KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. If you're new to the channel or you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It'll feel amazing. Guys, just a little public service announcement today. I've been playing with that little $60 computer and getting it up and running with WSJTX and all that kind of stuff. And noticed that I was getting some interference from my USB cable. And it's actually a very common problem uh, that a lot of folks have. They're getting their, their digital system set up and they're wondering why the heck is this not working? Very often your USB cable is at fault. So I wanna show you what I was using and I wanna show you what I found to help you out. And I'll show you some causes and solutions uh, to getting on the air with uh, digital modes and how to fix all kinds of RFI problems. It's your USB cable, let me show you. So in my shack, this was my USB cable. Okay, the big old guy to the regular USB thing, right? Look how many freaking ferrites I have on this. I got three ferrites. This one's wrapped in here uh, three times. So basically, you know, five ferrite chokes on here just to get digital modes to work. But then I got my $60 computer. I'm doing whisper testing some antennas the other day out in the park and I'm starting to get noise. I'm like, what the heck is going on? That's because I'm using this cable and I put two ferrites on there. Still didn't really help it. You gotta kinda, if you move the cable in the right place and don't move too much, you can kinda get it to work. But it's like, this is garbage. So I went on Amazon and just searching for a better quality shielded USB cable and I came across these from Triplight. Not sponsored, not affiliate, whatever. I paid my own hard-earned money for these. And these are nice gold-plated connectors. They've got ferrites on them. And surprisingly enough, when I went down to the reviews, I found a review from hamradio.world. I don't know if you know them. That's the Lee family. They own the shack in the box. They make the, uh, well, the shacks in the boxes. I've done an interview with them at uh, Hamvention. And they left a really good review of these, saying they've been using them for years. And these are really high quality. They work. They're fantastic. So I just wanted to share these with you. If you're having problems with RFI uh, or you don't know what the problem is with digital modes, it's probably the USB. So let's hop outside really quick. I wanna show you on my 7300 what some problems are and how these cables fix it. So let's hop outside. So now let me show you what happens. Here's just the regular crappy cable. Plug this into the radio. Everything looks good. All your settings and everything, okay. Test cat, that works. Test PTT, that works, okay. But what happens with a bad cable, I'm gonna hit the tune button now, okay. See how it's transmitting? We're not putting out any power at all, nothing. And now I'm starting to get these errors coming up on the computer, okay. So we hit okay, get out of these. Like everything's fine, it should be. And the radio is stuck in transmit. See that, see the TX is still lit, so I'm actually gonna push the transmit button to turn that off because it's just it's having a uh, a hissy fit with all the RFI coming through that cable. Now we can sometimes fix that by putting a couple or a few depending on how many you need. Um, I believe these are mix 31 ferrite chokes okay right at the radio okay that's where you want it at the radio so now I can plug this back in okay band switches are good now I'll hit the tune button, and now you can see we've got power out because we've just eliminated that RF coming back on uh, wherever it is on the USB plug, but we need a choke on that USB plug to make it work. Or we just get a good properly shielded cable like this one, already has ferrites and everything on it. We're just gonna plug this cable in because it is properly shielded and of high quality, I know that when I hit tune, it's just going to work just as it is now. You see that? Super easy, works every time. 